Hello there everybody. <laughs> I've at last decided to do some major upgrades to my CNC system. Uh, the upgrades are going to consist of um, a more powerful stepper motor drivers and of course a more powerful power supply to drive them. I'm also going to add some structural stiffening and damping to the system. I think there's too much flexation going on, especially with the x-axis, the big uh, gantry across the top. It's flexing, especially in the middle. It's a bit of torsional stiffness required there. So I'm going to beef up the stiffening. I'm going to, going to have a go at uh, using uh, this epoxy granite idea. So. Uh, this is going to consist of a, a, like a slab of epoxy granite which is bolted onto the back of the gantry. Hopefully that will stiffen the system. Anyway, we'll see how that works out. And there you can see the new stepper motor drivers in situ and compared with the, the old ones. You see that they're quite a bit bigger. It's a bit foreshortening there, but when you pull back, they are a good, I would say, one and a half times bigger lengthwise, width wise, and depth wise. So there's quite a bit more meat in them. And certainly I've noticed. That the machine is much more positive in its action and movement with these new 8060 stepper drivers. I've managed to get the the drive voltage up to about 54 volts using this supply from 48 I was running it at. So if I switch the unit on, I'm going to do this while I'm holding the camera. And then turn to almost stick this back on. Set the drivers now. Yeah, you are 50, running at like 53.8, and that fuel voltage few volts does seem to make a difference but I think the stepper motor drivers are more efficient also. I think the output impedance is a bit lower and therefore it's driving current through it quite a bit more efficient and efficiently. Of course with the new 72 volt power supply which is on the way we should see yet another vast improvement. Right, so now here we are looking at the inside of the enclosure, which I've totally rewired. If you compare the looms with uh, the loom earlier in this movie, you'll see that they are different. A little bit more tidy, I would think. There's a different switch there on the front panel and also different lights I've fitted. They're a bit more robust than the other lamps. They're not quite as bright, but uh, I think they look a bit more business-like. Also, you will see that the labels are still falling off here. Uh, that's one of the first projects I embark on, is to make new nice engraved labels, which you will see later on in this series of videos. And there is one above the voltage display which is now shown 65 volts, which is what the new power supply is outputting. This power supply can output up to 88 volts, which is rather good. Well, that's the first part of the upgrade completed with the, the new 72 volt power supply, which can be adjustable. Uh, I've discovered that it can be adjusted from about 65 volts up to around 88 volts which is useful. 
Uh, I've got it set at, at 65 because I'm using, still using the NEMA 23 motors, but I'll try tweaking it up, see how far it'll go. At the moment, uh, with a, a long run, I've tried doing some test routines, running it for about an hour, and the motors just get very, very slightly warm, nothing at all really. So I might try it at uh, 70 volts and see how that goes. At the moment it seems to be very sturdy running at 65 volts. So E11R might uh, just leave it at that. Also the new 8060 drivers are fitted and I've completely rewired the inside of the enclosure as well. Uh, the problem was that the the power supply terminals were backwards compared with the original one so some of the wires had to be lengthened by patching bits on it and it was starting to look a mess so I just decided to to do a total new rewire and I think it's uh, made it a little bit neater it looks tinier. I've also had to fit a new rotary switch because the contacts on the original switch were uh, make before break and it was for some strange reason it was upsetting uh, the computer when I was going from 5 volts to 12 volts so I had to put a new wafer switch in it's now a brick before me and that seems to have solved that problem I've also put uh, as you see new indicator lights on which are a bit more chunky they're not as bright as the original ones but uh, I think we can live with them so in the next uh, video I'm going to be showing how I formulated the mix for the granite epoxy I've used for the, the, the buck damper which is a great slab of uh, epoxy granite uh, which I've, I've going to attach to the buck. So I've made several samples of different mixes and tested them for strength. So that will probably be the next video so stand by for that. Uh, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now, bye.